that draws me to the black sometimes and makes me sit upright. Some very powerful visuals here from the short film Black Bodies, which premiered at TIFF. Toronto filmmaker Kelly Fife Marshall was inspired to tell the story after headline-making racist incident in California last year. And Kelly joins me live right now. Good morning to you, Kelly. Good morning. Uh, what our viewers saw there was just a snippet of a four-minute piece that was ever so captivating. I, I think I told you in break that I, I watched it and then I watched it again and again and again uh, because within those four minutes there was so much to be told. I want to backtrack a little bit Kelly here and the the reason why you created this stems back to your very own personal experience of what happened to you and your friends in California. Can you give us a bit of a background there? Yeah, so essentially uh, we were in California with a couple peers of mine and we're checking out of our rental property and an elderly white lady saw us and called the police because she'd never seen black people in that neighborhood and said that we were breaking and entering. And so we ended up being surrounded by seven police officers and a helicopter. And at, thoughts we, at first we thought it was a joke, but then it got really serious um, and we ended up being detained. And so we realized exactly what the magnitude of this was and what black Americans go through every day. And your story, unfortunately, is not a unique one. It's not a unique mm. one in that we see this uh, on a daily basis, and it's not just in the U.S. It happens here in Canada. You're from Toronto, and you have mm. seen this. Um, so in this, in Black Bodies, can you give us, uh, our viewers who uh, haven't had a chance to see it again, again, it just premiered a TIFF, what you're hoping to embody in this piece? I think that when we say Black Lives Matter, it a lot of people are coming from a lived experience. And people that have problems with saying Black Lives Matter are the people that don't have a lived experience. So I hope that this film lives as that. I hope that this film gives intelligence, emotional intelligence, onto what it's like to live in a black skin in the 21st century within all of the world. What does it feel like to be black right now? And so I hope that this film transfers all of those emotions and so you can really feel like, okay, this is a snippet, a slice of what black people have to go through, and I can like defend them on their behalf. Featured in this short here, um, Komi Olaf and Denisha Prendergast, uh, who were actually with you uh, during that incident in California. Yeah, Why was it important to have them featured here? It was a very traumatic experience and we didn't realize it until like we'd come home, we'd done all of this press, we'd been on every channel, but then realized that when you get home by yourself, it's very traumatic. And so we turned to each other and said, okay, how can we use our trauma to, to, to really find out how we can get through this situation. You know, after being um, in this situation, I remember coming back and taking my bags out of the car and feeling like I was being watched. And I didn't want to feel like that all the time. I didn't want to have the anxiety and the depression that came with this. And so how could I channel my trauma into something great? Kelly, in the making of all of this, do you feel, do you feel as if you're able to do that, to channel your trauma? Do you think that the message is going to get through? I do, from the reactions that I've gotten um, from black folks just being like, thank you for being a voice for so many voiceless, and from the people that aren't black, that are just being like, you know, I, I, I understand a little bit now. I feel exactly what you're saying, and, and thank you for doing this for me, for giving me this insight onto what it's like, because there is real no, really no way to know. And so, yeah, I, I, I do think the message is coming across. Uh, I think it is. It's being received quite well. It premiered at TIFF. And what was it like? I know you, you have an extensive career, and, and unfortunately, we don't have time to go through it all because you've done a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but for, to premiere this at TIFF, what was that like? Uh, a beautiful moment. The bigger the stage, the, the, the greater and further the message goes. And so I was really happy that in this time, I could make a film that could speak for people and they could see how far it can get. It's beautiful in so many different ways. And I'm just really happy that TIFF uh, picked it and we're also nominated for Best Canadian Short. Congratulations and much Thank deserved. It, it's pretty incredible. And I'm looking forward for the world to be able to watch this. Uh, Kelly, congratulations. If you want to check out her film, Black Bodies, uh, you can find more about her on Instagram, by the way, at mm -hmm. Directed by Kells. And uh, I'm looking forward for the world to be able to watch this, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.